Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I have one of the hobby boxes of Topps Chrome Sonic Light. Um, we did a box break of these uh, yesterday, actually, of two boxes. Definitely a little bit of an underwhelming product. I did buy one for myself, so I figured I'd still rip it. Uh, we will find four exclusive black and white Ray Wave parallels per box. Like I said, um, not too too excited to open this actually when, when it came out i was a little excited about it but after opening up two hobby boxes yesterday um i felt it was definitely a little underwhelming but i don't know we'll see um for anybody who wants to see the pack odds here are the pack odds um we'll get uh refractors are one and three the black and whites are one and four Prisms are one in six. Um, and then it just kind of goes up from there. You are guaranteed usually one non, uh, one numbered card per box. Uh, the two boxes we opened yesterday, we had one numbered card in the one box, and then we did get two in the other. So, I don't know. Let's see. Can get the short prints as well. We'll see what happens. We got Kershaw, Shane Boz, rookie, Jose Siri, rookie, Anthony Rendon, and our first black and white. All right, Tatis. I'll take it. At least it's name, not just uh, some, you know, just regular, you know, rookie, so to say. Uh, you know, some one of like the, the lesser named rookies, but Tatis. Curious to see how he does this year coming back from his injury slash suspension. Jack Flaherty, Wilson Contreras. We get Reed Detmers, Youth Quake insert. These are one in eight, so we should get two of those. And then Walker Bueller uh, behind that. These are one in eight. I do like designs of these back from 1996. I don't know. I like them. I think they're kind of sharp. Definitely hard. Uh, I think there was like a, I want to say there was a 30 card checklist for this, if I'm not mistaken, but definitely some decent names within that. We got Luis Gill, Duran, our first Prism, Kyle Seeger, and Berrios. So nothing exciting there. I mean, it's, it's disappointing how Chrome's been this year. Chrome, always one of my favorite products every year. Um, but this year's Chrome has just been just ridiculous. We got McKenzie, Austin Meadows Refractor, and we get our other Youth Quake, Brandon Marsh. Okay. Michael Brantley. I'll take the Brandon Marsh. I'm uh, very curious to see how he does with the Phillies this year. Um, I like him as a player. Plus can't not like somebody with uh, all that hair now, let's see what we get next pack we got Machado Shane Bieber Cabrian Hayes and Nolan Arenado so nothing crazy there Sonny Gray McCutcheon Kyle Tucker and Stuart Fairchild rookie So far, hit one of our, actually, well, here's going to be our second Ray Wave. We got Horner, Luke Williams, Refractor, Randy Arena, Prism, Brandon Woodruff, and not a rookie, not JT Relamuto, another decent name for sure, Ray Wave. Definitely one of the best catchers in the game currently. All right, let's see what we get next pack. We got Starling Marte. Stevenson. We got some green. Reds. Nick Castellanos. Acuna behind that. Castellanos to 199. Aqua, 
believe that is one is considered. Meh. Nothing too, too wild. I mean, I, I wish they gave you more of these Ray Wave type of cards. I, I do like the, the look of them. Just wish, I wish they just kind of did a little bit more parallels of those, even if they were non-numbered, just because they do look somewhat sharp. We got Reese Haskins, Tapia, Chris Bryant, and Jazz Chisholm. Chaz McCormick, rookie. Yadier Molina. Scherzer, refractor. And Riley Adams, rookie. So, nothing too crazy there. Alex Kirloff. Pavon Smith. Trevor Rogers. Aaron Judge. So, yeah, at least I made 20 bucks back. Part of the, uh, the buyback program. And Tim Anderson, all right, another decent name. Can't complain too much about that. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just happy that I'm getting some names, some you know star players. Um, but yeah, at least we got the Aaron Judge for the buyback program. Let's see what we get next pack. Goriel Jr. Jared Walsh, Mookie Betts, and Jose Ramirez. Is that four packs left? We should get one more black and white. Francisco Lindor, Cedric Mullins, Refractor, Curtis Terry, and Chris Sale. Would be nice if we can get at least one more color. Isaiah Conifalefa, Jake Berger, Manuel Rivera, Refractor, and Adam Frazier. We got Zach Wheeler, Luis Garcia. All right, we get a Goldschmidt and Ryan of the day. So at least this helps with the buyback program. That's the plus side of this. So, I mean, technically made half my money back with, or close to half my money back with, if I trade those in. We got Altuve, Kyle Lewis, Cody Bellinger, Prism, Mike Yastrzemski, and to finish it off, Cole Calhoun. So, honestly, with the black and whites, I'm happy with the names that I pulled. I mean, Cole Calhoun definitely being the, the least favorite of the names. Um, did get at least the Goldschmidt and the Judge for part of the buyback program. I'm pr pretty confident that that is still going on, honestly. Uh, Tim Anderson, JT Real Muto, our Youth Quake inserts, Marsh and Detmers, the Castellanos, number 199. Eh, nothing too, too crazy there. And then the Tatis, so... Box was a little better than I thought it was going to be. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. That's just my personal opinion. Let me know if you've opened up any of these uh, Topps Chrome Sonics. I'm, this is, this is a one and done for me. Even after we did the break, I kind of felt gross doing the break because of how bad these boxes were, in my opinion. Um, but let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I personally will not be buying any more of these or opening up any of them myself. I just don't think the risk is there. Um, but I always like to hear from you guys what you guys think about them. Um, I don't know. Like I said, Tops, Tops Chrome this year has just been horrendous. Um, started with the regular Chrome when that came out, missing the short prints. Chrome update came out. The centering issues were horrendous. Um, and then, you know, here's another Chrome product that they, they push out. And um, I don't know, swing and a miss, I think, again. Um, I mean, the Logo Refractor Edition, I think that was a really good product that they did. But 
I don't know, I think there was a lot of hope that this product would be a little similar to it. Not quite, but, you know, something a little closer to that, but unfortunately it was not. But anyway, like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. Like I said, Top Sonic, definitely a disappointment to me, in my opinion. I always like to hear from your guys' comments. Um, I know a lot, of, a lot of the comments lately, everybody's been bashing Tops um, with uh, pack odds and such, which I completely understand. I completely understand. I'm with you. Um, but anyway, also too, if you're new, greatly appreciate it. if you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified of any of my future uploads. And with that, well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.